I want to be very, very honest about Dak Prescott. I have no idea what to do with him. I, I don't have any idea how to feel about Dak Prescott. I know people get mad at me for not picking a side here. I'll tell you what I believe. I'll tell you all the things that are rattling around in my head. I am torn to shreds. Like as a, I try to be honest, right? I, tr- I don't try to say opinions just to say opinions. I try to say opinions because that's what I believe. If I'm going to make an argument and strongly believe it, I, I'm gonna, if I'm going to make a case for something, it's going to be because I believe it. I'm not going to be the guy who says, I'm saying this to get views. So let me tell you now, I don't know how to feel about Dak Prescott. It tears him into shreds. Some people say he's got to get paid $35 million a year. We need to give Dak Prescott a gigantic contract. People say, well, you know, the Rams gave Jared Goff a big contract and the Eagles gave Carson Wentz a big contract. Therefore, hey, we got to give Dak Prescott a big contract to keep up with the times. I don't know if you've noticed this right now. The Rams are six and five. They're not doing well with their their quarterback who got a gigantic contract. (laughs) And Carson Wentz got a gigantic contract and their team is five and six. You want to pay... Dak Prescott, the way those teams paid their quarterback? Because right now, the Jared Goff contract and the Carson Wentz contract, they look awful on paper. They look terrible. They look like bad decisions. Especially, I think Carson Wentz is talented. Jared Goff looks horrible. Looks like a horrible decision. I don't know why you would give Jared Goff the contract they gave him. Looks like a bad business move. And when I watch film of Dak Prescott, he's not incredibly talented. He's not physically very gifted. He's, He's fine. He's good. He's good enough. But he's not the talented guy. He's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not the guy I'm paying the most in the NFL. I'm not giving Dak Prescott $35 million based on his talent. Now, I do know that here's the thing. You have to ask yourself, are you a fan of the Dallas Cowboys or Dak Prescott? Are you a Dak Prescott fan or a Cowboys fan? Because not always are their interests aligned. I don't know that it's best for the Dallas Cowboys. If you're a fan of the Cowboys, I don't know that it's best for them to give Dak Prescott a $35 million contract. I I don't. You want to give Dak Prescott a crippling contract, a contract that will cripple your football team? I don't think you do. Dak Prescott's better with a lot of help with better players around him. He's had inconsistent performances. Week one against the Giants, Dak Prescott was phenomenal. He had 405 yards passing, four touchdowns. I was like, wow, Dak's off to a great start. And then week four against the Saints, he was totally underwhelming. No touchdowns. He had an interception. It wasn't really his fault. But they still lost 12 to 10 and got shut down. Then against the Lions, later that year, Dak Prescott goes off. 444 yards, three touchdowns. Wow. Then on Sunday against the Patriots, in the rain. I know it's raining, but look, you got to throw the ball well in the rain. Dak Prescott struggles in the rain. He also had some drops, I'll I'll acknowledge that. But in in the end, Dak Prescott on Sunday finished 19 for 33 212 yards, zero touchdowns, and an interception. And which here's how here's how controversial and torn up I am about Dak Prescott. Even on Dak Prescott's interception, it's easy to make an excuse. The snap was high. He had to go get the snap, reset his feet, throw the ball. You can say, well, the, the high snap caused the interception. Everything Dak Prescott does has a, like a built-in excuse where you go, I, I'm not really sure. Like it kind of, you can explain it away. And then you say, well, not only that, the Cowboys offensive coaching isn't great. Their head coach... Jason Garrett's not very good. So not a great head coach, but he's not extremely impressive physically. But, you know, I will say Dak Prescott looks better this year than he's looked in the past, so he's making progress. It's kind of a toss-up. I I have no idea what to do with Dak Prescott. My heart and my head are torn to shred. Here is the weirdest part. Everybody says, well, the reason why the Cowboys got to pay Dak Prescott is because the dude just wins games. He just wins. He wins and he wins and he wins. Forget his play on the field. The reason why he got to pay Dak Prescott on Sundays, he wins football games. Did he win on Sunday? Oh, he lost to the Patriots. You know who wins football? You know, the Dallas Cowboys are 6-5. and five, But Dak just wins. All, all Dak does is win the football games. Uh, they're six and five, so not, not really true. I know you look at his career. In his career, he's, what, 38 and 21? So in his career, he wins games, but not this year. No, he's won. Does Zach Prescott win games? Well, he, he's won more this year than Carson Wentz. Mm, congratulations, I guess. You know who wins games? Here's the quarterback who wins games. Tom Brady. Tom Brady's 10 and 1. Well, got a great defense, got a great coach. Sure. But Tom Brady wins games. He's probably the greatest quarterback of all all time. How much money does Tom Brady make a year? $15 million. 
Tom Brady makes $15 million. Tom Brady makes $15 million a year. So Dak Prescott the other day was asked, people asked Dak Prescott, what do you think of the MVP award? He said this word for word. He said, the only thing I care about is winning. So if winning MVP means I'm the most winningest quarterback in the league, sure, I want it. But until it means that, I don't care. Is it something cool? It, it's something cool, right? But I want to win games, and that's the most important thing. Dak Prescott says the most important thing to him is winning games. Okay, you want to win games, Dak? I got a plan for you. Sign an $18 million contract. Take a pay cut. Instead of taking $35 million, instead of asking for more than you're worth, maybe, maybe you're worth $35 million. I, I honestly can't tell, honestly. But take an $18 million a year contract and then have room to sign other teammates around you. You can have better players and play on a better team. That's a crazy idea. If you really care about winning and that's all you care about, take a pay cut. I know people get mad at that. I don't care. But you want to play on a more talented team the way Tom Brady used to? He's got a great defense, I guess. They spend money on the defense. I don't, I don't know. This year... Tom Brady's offensive line is terrible. But here's a question. Is Dak elite physically? No. He's not elite when you watch him on tape. Does he win? Again, he's 38 and 21 as a, as a, in his career as a, as a quarterback. That's great. He's won his division twice, Dak Prescott. He's, he's won a playoff game. It's pretty good. More than Andy, I think more than Andy Dalton, right? But so far this year, Dak Prescott's 6-5. and five. And I am so torn. And again, people get so mad at me when I don't pick a side. The only time I don't pick a side is when I genuinely cannot tell how to feel. I'm the only person, I think, in the media who's honest and says, look, there's not a clear answer here. There's just not a clear answer to the Dak Prescott thing. Maybe there is in your opinion. To me, I look at it and go, I, have, I, I just can't see a clear side here. I'm so glad I'm not the one who has to make the decision where you, whether you give Dak Prescott a big contract or not. My feelings change every week. I, my, I, every week I watch Dak Prescott and I go back and forth and I go, some weeks I think he's great. Some weeks I think he's not. Here's what it makes me think of. When I buy pants, I, I, go, I go buy jeans. I go to Ross and I buy jeans. I only buy the jeans if I love them. If I really am sold. If I'm like, ah, I'm not sure, I don't spend the money. When I buy, go buy clothes, when I buy anything really, if I'm like, ah, I'm not really sure, I don't spend the money on it because it's not worth it to me. Unless I'm certain, then I'm going to spend the money. If there's a moment where I pause and I go, mm, I walk away. Dak Prescott makes me go, ah, and I pause and I think about it. I'm not, so, I'm not all in on Dak Prescott, and he makes me hesitate, and that scares me a lot. Should you pay Russell Wilson? Absolutely. Fast, immediately, yes. Pay Aaron Rodgers? Absolutely. Dak Prescott? Uh, maybe. I, I, I guess. It's not the same, absolutely. Now, I love Dak Prescott. He's a great leader. He's a good dude. I, I, he, his interviews are awesome. He seems like a great person. And he wins games. He's 38 and 21 as a starter. Not this year. He's 6 and 5. But do you want to pay Dak Prescott $35 million a year? Oof. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. But again, you go back to, well, there is some doubt. Dak Prescott has a mediocre head coach, Jason Garrett. So, man, my, my, this is my long, long-winded way of saying I have no idea how to feel about Dak Prescott. I'll at least be honest about it. You can get mad at me for saying that. I, I'll just tell you how it is. I, I don't know what decision to make here. It tears me to shreds. I'm just curious to watch. What happens when the year ends this year and it's time to sign Dak Prescott to a new contract? What in the world will happen? And what's going to happen the rest of this year? Well, Dak Prescott, if Dak Prescott balls out the next, I don't know how many weeks are left, then he probably gets that contract. Who knows? Maybe they win the Super. Maybe, maybe the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. I have no. I, I generally don't know. And every week I watch Dak Prescott. I go, he's good. He's bad. He's good. He's bad. He's good. He's bad. It just. It's just like an emotional roller coaster for me. I can't even handle. So, uh, I'm not going to say they should sign him. I'm not going to say they shouldn't sign him. I'm going to say I have no idea. I'll be honest about it. When I watch Dak Prescott, I cannot tell you whether he's a great quarterback or not. He makes me go, ah, uh, maybe. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And I want to be very clear, open, and transparent. My YouTube channel is monetized. What that means is that some of my videos make money through ad revenue. Now, it's fewer than you think. A lot of my videos get claimed. 
But in the past, I've received donations from Patreon and PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash Zach Schaumler. Patreon.com forward slash Zach Schaumler. And so because I'm making ad revenue, it feels weird to just get donations. I wanted to give something back. I want to give people a reward for supporting me on Patreon. So now you can submit questions. If you give me a dollar a month, you can submit questions to a pool of questions on Patreon. I look at all the questions on Patreon. I use my eyeballs. I make a joke about it. Uh, and I pick the top couple questions at the end of every single episode. And I read them and answer them on a segment called Ask Zach. Now that's for people who have money and they want to support me. If you have no money to give, I totally understand. I've been a broke college kid myself. Um, but if you believe in me and if you believe in my dream and you still want to help me, please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, maybe a screenshot of it. You put it on your Instagram story. Help me grow by telling your friends about the show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so very much and have a great day.